the dinner is served. For all you have done to return Peach Blossom Spring Cavern to what it was before the Emperor's reign, this is but a small gesture of thanks. Yeah, small? Bruto slaved over a hot pot all day to create this feast. Voila! You call this small? I'm not sure what to call it. Very funny. Back here? Sorry, looks like dinner's gonna be a little late. If we have some time, there's something I've been wanting to ask you about. And what is that? Everything! Where did the Emperor come from? What were the Eastern Caverns like before him? That is a lot of questions, and it is a very long story. Come on, June Jay. The kid's dying to know. Yeah, tell him the story, June. It was epic and amazing. All right, but to answer all your questions, it would be best if I start at the beginning. Come on, back on the plate. The story begins 88 generations ago in a land called China with my ancestor, Yang. A great archer. Yang lived at the time of the first emperor. The emperor was a cruel and evil man, obsessed with finding the mythical elixir of life, a potion that supposedly granted immortality. The emperor cared little about the lives of others. In fact, he believed all others lived only to serve him. Yang refused to kneel and earn the Emperor's wrath. There was nowhere in China safe for Yang now. Yang floated on the water, unconscious, the current taking him wherever it flowed. Yang discovered a mythical place that wasn't a myth. It was deep inside a holy mountain. Yang passed through the waterfall and found a secret grotto that led to an even greater secret. Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, the most beautiful and tranquil land Yang had ever seen and a place he would soon call home. In Peach Blossom Spring, Yang created a refuge for people to escape the harsh rule of the emperor. But the emperor hated that there was a place outside of his control. He hunted day and night for Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, but it was well hidden. Yang and his people soon discovered they were not alone. There were others who had long lived in the caverns. Most were friendly. Some were not. But Peach Blossom Spring had its defenses as well. Slugs. Yang discovered dozens of different kinds. Frost crawlers, geo shards, bubbly oaks, even an infernus. And watching them, Yang, a great archer, also a master of ancient martial arts, got an idea. He combined them with this new art to create slug food. Yang protected Peach Blossom from all dangers it faced. The first Eastern champion. The people of my cavern were safe and happy for many years, until one The Emperor found Peach Blossom Spring Cavern? Yes. And thus began the battle for my home, a struggle that would take 2,000 years to reach its end. In defense of the caverns, Yang garnered many enemies. One such scoundrel, a greedy rogue who wanted revenge on Yang, returned to the Emperor's realm above and revealed the hidden location of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Only my ancestor Yang and his slugs stood in their way. The Emperor had a powerful magic. Yang faced the Emperor's magic. The powers unleashed in their battle were so great, they 
ripped a chasm in the very floor of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Using his slug food. Yang had won, but the Emperor was not finished. He fell 18 levels underground, and there, he landed in a pool of the vile liquid you know as dark water. The Emperor had long sought immortality. Now, the dark water gave it to him. But it was a cursed immortality. The dark water corrupted the Emperor into something stronger than a man, and also something less than human. The Emperor had been transformed into a monstrosity. Infused with the corrupt energies, he gained abilities no man has ever had. The Emperor used them to forge a new army of warriors out of the molten rock, and then bring them to life. The Emperor's stone warriors were soulless automatons. They existed only to obey. He ordered them to climb up through 19 levels of Earth to Peach Blossom Spring. But the stone warriors could not enter Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. From below was blocked by a guardian gate built by the Shadow Clan. Mysterious creatures who live in cavern's shadows. The gate was powered by guardian slugs. There were 11 in all. A thresher, an aqua beak, a taserling, a ram stone, a vine drill, a frost crawler, a tornado, a hop rock, a fright geist, a flatulor hinkus, and a boondock. Each guardian was once a normal slug. But through careful training by the Shadow Clan, they gained a level of power few other slugs can match. Together, they used their energies to power a magic seal in the center of the gate. It prevented anything infused with dark energy from passing through, including the Stone Warriors and the Emperor himself. As long as the slug energy remained strong, he could only seethe. And so, Yang, and all of his descendants after him continue to use Slug Fu to keep Peach Blossom Cavern safe. And so it went, until my day, my time for my family's duty to pass to me. I told you that excellence requires you try your hardest until the results match your effort. And now they have. Choo Choo. This Infernus has been passed down from Yang himself through 88 generations of ancestors. It belongs to the defender of these caverns. And now that is you. I was now the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. The Eastern Champion. Every threat that arose, a much greater one was growing down below. The Emperor had not threatened Peach Blossom Spring Cavern for close to 2,000 years. The only things keeping him going inside his dark imprisonment was his hatred for Yang and his desire for vengeance. Slugs rarely ventured that far below Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. He used the vile powers of the dark water to corrupt slugs into monstrosities. Recalling his battle with Yang, the Emperor got a dark idea. 
Using his magic, he forged a great weapon. A weapon imbued with his dark power. A sword. A sword that could fire ghouled slugs. Guardian slugs get their strength from the magical energies that flow between them. It took the Emperor years to goon enough slugs, but eventually, the damage was done. So many slugs turned into goons, the slug energy that powered the seal on the Guardian Gate was failing. The Gate could no longer hold back the Emperor. Follow your training. Listen to your instincts. Trust in Juju. He's been through this before. Yes. Okay. We must rally the others and form a defense. There. Yes. But I will gather the others and mount the defense. And you, you must go on the offensive. I was the Eastern Champion. The protector of Peach Blossom Spring. I had trained every day of my life for this very moment. And now, I was about to confront the most evil and powerful enemy I would ever have to face. destroyed.
Feel it corrupting me from within. said after that i spent many dark years under the goons control until my friends saved me and that of course is where your story really begins because that is when you met bruto and with my help smashed the emperor <laughs> He's not coming back, is he? The Emperor? You have nothing more to fear from him. Yeah, after what we did to him, kid, he ain't never doing anything. And you all have the protection of the Shane Gang, the Easter Champion, and, of course, Pronto! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Master, show me what I must do. Ha <laughs> ha! 
what you get for attacking. Oh, as you are, you are quite delicious. Mm. Daibu. This one. Him? What about the champions? Remain me. Underlord Holt, I have not summoned you here to punish you for your past failures. If failures? I have summoned you here to be a witness to the initiation of one of the Emperor's grand plans. And of course, you have an important role for me to play in this grand plan. <sighs> what is it? A new stone warrior. Larger, stronger, faster, with veins of iron ore running throughout the stone, binding it together, making it practically indestructible. This headpiece allows the wearer to control the iron warrior instantly, with a mere thought. No words are necessary. Lady Daifu, it would be an honor to serve you again. Uh, whatever operation you have in mind, it will be the grandest, most important act since the Emperor's defeat. Hmm, yes. And because this mission is so important, you will not be involved. Uh, come again? <laughs> you have failed me too many times, under Lord Holt. Consider yourself fortunate that I allow you to remain in my service at all. Then why have you summoned me here? To warn you to steer clear of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. I do not need failures like you around. But... You are dismissed. I have urgent business elsewhere to attend to. Yes, but... Be gone! Be gone? What am I? A dog to shoo away from the table? I can go whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. Especially if I have you. He lay saying he's so pretty. The Eastern Champion has heart. Defeating the Emperor was only this hard. For heroes! 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 Does Pronto seem different to you guys? Hmm? He does suddenly seem more... Trixie smart. She sure knows her stuff. Cool. That's not the word I was thinking of. Heroes! Heroes! Hey! We got another message from our mysterious friend. What is it, Trixie? There's something going on in Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Something bad. <sighs> there are innocents to protect. Avanti, my compadre. We must ride. <laughs> <laughs> cool pronto. Who knew? We're gonna need the water elemental to help. Nice job. 
job. Oh, you've returned. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Tell me what has happened here. An underlord with a giant stone warrior attacked the village. Where are they now? The Emperor's Palace. The only place worthy of being my home. At least it will be once I redecorate. So, are you going to be the Emperor now? Emperor? Yes, I quite like the sound of that. Emperor Holt. From now on, everyone must refer to me only as Emperor Holt. No one shall call me Underlord Holt again. Underlord Holt! You, the Molinoid? The same? Not quite the same. I... I saw you die! The rumors of my demise have been gravely exaggerated. You have wreaked havoc throughout this camp. The people have cried out for justice. Can you not see that Eli Shane of the 99 Caverns is disgusting? Yeah, what he said. And now you think you can just traipse into Peach Blossom Spring, the home of the Eastern Champion, and take over? Oppressing the people as badly as the Emperor ever did. Well, Junje is not going to stand for it. Yes, Pronto. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <gasps> the amazing guy he always said he was. We gotta step it up, too. I'm slinging the Earth Elemental. Ah! Hey, Pronto! Heavy artillery coming in! They could have survived that. <gasps> what is it you hope to gain from this whole tower? Revenge? Actually, I'm glad you ruffians are here to see it. You are not big enough to take the Emperor's place, Holt. Eli Shane and the Eastern Champion will not allow it. What sort of champion needs a Molinoid to save him? Say what you like about me. I do not mind. But don't you dare mock my friends. Every time Pronto distracts Holt, the warrior doesn't attack. He's controlling it. I am afraid you will always fail, Holt. <laughs> High time you came to grips with it. Oh no! <laughs> he's gotta be controlling it with that high tech headpiece he's wearing. Let's just see what happens if we knock it off. Well done! Nice 
masterfully done, Eli. Yeah, well, I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I am sorry to disappoint you, but your little joyride has come to an end, Holt. What's the meaning of this? No, really, I, I don't get what it means. <sighs> she used you, Holt. A strategy. Had I ordered him to draw out your little gang and hold you for me, he'd have botched it. So I found a way to motivate him to actually get the job done. This one. Your ladyship. Uh, should we be doing something? I think we might not have to. You schemer! Did you think I would take this lightly? Are you sure you want to do this, Holt? I'm the one in charge. <sighs> Say goodbye, Lady High and Mighty. Headpiece, deactivate. Wait, what are you doing? Get her! Uh, the Iron Warrior wasn't designed by the Emperor to be controlled. It was designed to be powered by life essence. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, Give it a little more, and it can think for itself. More than I can say for you. All right. Maybe we should have done something. Iron Warrior, destroy them! Leave this one to me. I'm saying this, but... Pronto! What's the plan? There is no space in here to properly battle that monster. You must get it out into an open area. He's correct. Time to ride. Everyone, get to the mechas! Come on, guys! Stronger, too. Holt was holding it back. Holt is it now. Man, I owe Pronto's doing better than us. Should have brought more stone warriors, my lady. Condescend to compliment me? I met it. Well done. We should go back for Pronto. If we do not defeat this monster first, we will not be able to help him. So what's the plan when we get enough shot? There's not a ton of room out there! <laughs> Brace yourself. Here he comes. 
If he just got rid of all that evil. Iron Warrior. Destroy Peach Blossom Spring. It stays down, because this engine ain't going anywhere. I hope Pronto's okay. Whoa! Stone Warriors, incoming! Ah, good! You're back! Your aim is usually much better. <laughs> it still is. Where did you get so scary? It's unstoppable. Nothing's unstoppable. Okay, now that's getting a little ridiculous. What should we do? The Duel and Furnace Firestorm! <laughs> We cannot defeat it! First, we gotta go get Pronto!
Is it done? Yes, Lady Daifu. I filmed the battle as you commanded. Now, I have a more important event for you to document. By restoring life to you, order will be restored to the cavern. It takes a lot of guts to hold your own against the Dai Fu. You should celebrate your success. Today, we should call ourselves the Pronto Gang. <laughs> Pronto has lost his most trusted companion and loyal steed. <laughs> oh, Fernando! Yeah, they kind of missed the cool Pronto. Guess it was too good to last. To all who dwell in the Eastern Caverns, your days of trouble have ended. The Emperor has returned. The Emperor calls upon all Underlords to rejoin him. Return to me, my loyal minion. I know there is a rumor that it was the former Eastern Champion Junjie and his cohorts, who caused the Emperor's recent absence. That's no rumor that happened! But take no false hope. They will soon be destroyed, as will anyone who aids them. <laughs> this unstoppable warrior already defeated Junjie and his cohorts once, and it will soon be joined by others. And together, they will form a force that you would be wise not to resist. For the sake of your health and well-being. We have to get to the Emperor before he can create more of those unstoppable warriors. Doing that will require getting into the heart of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. With the Emperor surrounded by Stone Warriors, Underlords, and the Daifu. And the Iron Warrior. <sighs> We will need help against what we face in Peach Blossom Spring. I don't think our membership drive is going to reach its goals. We can't really blame them. The Emperor's threat is real. The longer we remain here, the greater the danger for these people. Hey, I know where we can pick up some sweet tech that might be able to help us. Well, that sounds like the start of a plan anyway. Let's ride! Yes, that would be nice. But how can Pronto ride without his Fernando? Pronto is bold, brilliant, the finest slinger in the east or west. And yet, without Fernando, how can I... Uh, yes, just a minute, Fernando. Without Fernando! <laughs> Fernando! <laughs> <laughs> With the return of my trusted steed, Pronto is once again ready for adventure! All right then, let's get moving. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your charm scares people more than the Emperor. Hmm. Look! You're coming with us! Oh, we are, are we? Glad to have you join us in our fight with the Emperor. Oh, uh, we joining them? No, you lunk! With the Emperor back in charge, capturing you wanna put us in good with him again. And maybe 
get us a sweet reward. Come on, let's get them! They're not so tough! Yeah, they couldn't even stop an Iron Warrior. I'd like to see them try. Okay, let's make this quick. everybody. I have assembled the Underlords for your inspection, your excellence. Mortals are useless to me now. Only my new warriors are unstoppable. We await your orders, most excellent one. Hunt down and capture the Eastern Champion and bring him me. As you command. But first, let's spread a little more fear through the caverns. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you came here for help, if you're going to battle that behemoth again. You're all bonkers. Well, I was hoping Drew could whip up some tech or something that might help even the odds. And while you're at it, anything that'd work against the Emperor's Stone Warriors would be great, too. Ha! <laughs> ha! I can taste that! Oh. Also, Bruto could use something to eat. Oh, my manners. Let me find something for all of you. Uncle, get to the kitchen and whip something up. Ah, great. Looks like I've been promoted to chef. To all Eastern Cavern dwellers, you will be pleased to know the Emperor's control of the caverns is near complete again. A group of brave fighters loyal to the Emperor has provided useful information regarding the whereabouts of the Eastern Champion and his cohorts. Those thugs dropped a dime on us. Even as I speak, the Emperor's underlords are tracking them down. Interesting. Soon, they will suffer for their crimes against the Emperor, as will any who aid or harbor them. Oh, don't worry. That's just that old fool in the kitchen. Ah. I'm telling you, it's supposed to taste smoky! It won't take long for them to trace our location. This was a mistake. Drew's in danger. We should get out of here. Wait just a second. Can you replay that video? Ah, uh, of course. Ah, I don't like that. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Mm, all right, that's it. Uh, no, well, that's connected. No. <laughs> Mind if I? All right. Smarty pants. Zoom in on the Underlords. Swick, if we could get a message to him. Yeah. Guys, come on. We can send the message from the road. Every second we're here puts Drew in more danger. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, well, that's what I do. Assist. What? Where are they? They left. Sounded like Kor changed his mind and wants to keep you out of this. To protect you. So they ran off to protect me from the thing they came here to get me to help them destroy because they couldn't defeat it on their own. Ah. Kord's a cutie, but not the sharpest tool in the shed. Let's go, Uncle. We have work to do. Nah, but I was going to take a wee break. After much consideration, I have deduced that your plan has only one flaw. 
We're counting on Swick! Swick has been somewhat reliable for us. Besides, have my plans ever let us down? Yes! Occasionally. Well, we're still here, and this is the best plan we got. Huh? That is a lot of underlords. <laughs> Your defeat is assured. The only question is whether we do this the easy way or the hard way. The, the hard, hard way! The easy way would be better. Ah, the hard way. <laughs> Please, my teacher. Our fight is not with you. It is, if your fight is with my master! No better than I? You handle her. I'll take care of it. You always take the easier jobs. <laughs> Let's see if a Fandango boost can help you put a dent in them. Are you okay? I am. Huh? Eli, I don't want this to sound like criticism, but so far your plan stinks. What? How? And my efforts have only made things worse for us. Worse for you? Under Lord Holt? I am the one who is now stuck looking at your doltish faces for the rest of my days. Wow, still a jerk. Yeah, why you got to be so mean? <laughs> Good, you are awake. The Emperor is waiting. Did you really think you had defeated me? You thought I, who survived 2,000 years in the deep caverns below, could be defeated by your feeble efforts. Our next efforts won't be feeble. They will be final. Silence! All of you are only alive because I want you to meet my new unstoppable. <laughs> to power them, I need only combine this schooled Fandango with the life force of the one you hold most dear. I am honored to obey, most exalted one. No.
I must do something to save her. Uh, Teacher, I will free you. No. 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 Jura, you will not make me fail, my master. You're draining the life out of your best fighter? Precisely. She has enough fighting spirit to infuse both of my new warriors. And you will live just long enough to see them put the caverns you sought to free under my rule once again! It's also draining her dark energy away. She's becoming Leanne again. Take them away! Until the Unstoppables have reclaimed the Eastern Caverns! It serves her right. Uh, shut it, Holt. Hola, Nimrod. Sure took you long enough. <laughs> oh, wonderful. This Cretan. Easy, Holt. I don't really need a reason to slug you. Ooh, scary. That'll work. <laughs> that felt good. Guess you got the message. Yeah, but give a guy a little bit more warning next time, will ya? How'd you even know I was around? Spotted you in the Daifu's broadcast. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess good looks like mine do stand out in a crowd. We must hurry if we are to save Leanne. Hey, wait. Take Bo, my thuglet slug. <coughs> You're gonna need him. I knew we could count on you. Thanks. Don't mention it. Seriously, don't mention it! Ever! Ever! Leanne! Oh, we're too late. Yes! Too late to save her! But just in time to be destroyed! than I imagined! What? Uh, 
I'm getting out of here before I suffer slowly, too. Looks like we got away with our skins. <gasps> She's barely breathing and feels light of spirit. What about you, Doc? Can you help? Maybe there's another kind of healer slug in the east. If there is, I do not know of it. Wait, what about the Shadow Clanner? Dude has a ton of slugs. It's the best shot we've got. Let's move! If the Emperor drained the dye fruit with a cooled Fandango, she needs a healer whose energy is combined with a pure Fandango to counteract the ghoul's effect. A fusion of a Fandango and Doc? If you're up for it, Charger. <laughs> How do we know that she's not going to be the same evil Dai Fu when she wakes up? You have nothing to fear. Yeah, well, just in case. <laughs> feel bad. I'd have done the same. My teacher, my friend, I am so happy to see you whole again. Oh, <laughs> not quite whole, but infinitely less empty. Thank you for never losing faith in me, Junji. Uh, yes, and I certainly do not want to cut this beautiful reunion short, but we still have to deal with the Emperor and his unstoppable warriors. <laughs> Wait. This one tells me you wish to understand the secret of shared sight. There were times with Burpee where I could see what he saw. Then you have done what only a handful before you ever have. It requires more than telling your slug what to do. You must listen to... Listen? Listen to what? You must let her rest. Leanne must sleep, and we must plan. These times are as grim as when my ancestor Yang first faced the threat of the Emperor. But then again, you told us Yang beat him. Yeah, you said he used the Guardian Gate in Peach Blossom Spring Cavern to trap the Emperor for 2,000 years, right? Huh. I'd settle for half of that right now. If we could get the Emperor and the Unstoppables through the gate, we could trap them for good. You will require powerful slugs to activate the Guardian Gate. <laughs> we have elementals. Would that be powerful enough? So you do. Their power would certainly suffice. If we do this, it's got to be your decision. Even if we can power the gate, how are we going to get the Emperor into it? Or even get into Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. She has a point. Charging back into Peach Blossom Spring would seem like an impossible mission! Hey, Jun... Uh... Did you tell him? No, I didn't want to interrupt. It's Drusilla. She says she's made weapons. Weapons we can use against the Emperor and the Unstoppables. We can't go back to Drew's factory and put her in danger. She is already in danger. Everyone is. Not if we have anything to say about it. Hurry! If we can keep up the pace, we can be at Drusilla's factory and... Do you hear that? The Emperor wishes us to secure the technician's factory. Hold on! Let's be smart about this. Here's the plan. We... <laughs> Amenku! <laughs> oh, 
You're a sight for sore eyes. As are you. When we heard the Emperor had returned, we had to do something. We've been hunting stone warriors ever since. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, well, speaking of stone warriors, these ones were headed to Drew's factory. So let's get there already. Drew! Wow, I'm so pumped to see you. You, uh, made more tech foo controllers. <laughs> Indeed I have, as well as these fisticuffs. I think they might solve your stone warrior problem, if I can engineer a way to power them so they don't shut down after a couple of punches. I got something that might do the trick. Aurora crystals. <laughs> Yes, I believe this Aurora Crystal power source will suffice, if we could acquire more. Oh, I know where we can get a ton more. And pick up some extra firepower, too. But is there time? It'll be worth making a detour. Come on! Oh, what was that? Trixie, take card and go! I am not leaving Drew here. Then take her, too. We'll meet you at Peak Blossom Spring Cavern. You're surrounded. You have nowhere to run. I don't suppose Pronto could convince you to surrender? Soon, all of us will deliver our life energy to the Emperor and become a part of his unstoppable army. Ah, uh, all of us? Yes, all of us will serve the Emperor's will. Guy's crazy. Uh, traitors! <laughs> Looks like we've gained some extra firepower. Good, cause we're gonna need it. Careful, we don't want to wake the pyrite up. Actually, I believe that's the point. Dreaming of getting my revenge on you. Yeah, well, you're not doing that without more crystals. But I've got plenty. And I know how you can use them to get revenge on someone you hate a whole lot worse than me. Okay, this is it. You ready to face the Emperor and... One. more difficult. You're not the only ones with a thuglet slug. <laughs> what the?
stop me for a few weeks! I am not done stopping you! Just hope that the Emperor has fallen for your pathetic little plan to trap him back in the Guardian Gate. Surely you could not have believed it would be that easy. ideas on how we can stop this thing? Your slug knows. You just need to listen. What is your plan, Eastern Champion? Leanne and I will defeat the Emperor. Wait, what? Can't we take the Emperor? Sorry, he's mine. <laughs> you said it. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, 
decide who to leave behind. The decision is yours to make. Looks like you're staying with us, Doc. I have no words to express my pride and gratitude. Together, you saved our world. You saved me. And with your help, Leanne, and that of Hamenku and the others, I know we can keep it that way. Thank you again, my friends. You have done what you promised to do. My land, my honor, have been restored. are gonna be 
be all right in the eastern caverns. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs>